everybody. It's November 2022, and it's time for an update on the PicoGus project. When I last filled you in in September 2022, quite a few demos were not working. Now, a lot of those are now working pretty well, and I'm going to show that, and also show you a few things where things aren't quite perfect, but things are really improving, especially on IRQ support. So demos that really need IRQs to drive the timing of the demo are working really well. There are a few issues, though, still with DMA. DMA is not working. DMA is used mostly by some MIDI players and also by games. So if you want to be able to play Doom on the PicoGus, that's not happening anytime in the near future. Uh, some of the other things I'm going to show you are the MPU-401 support that uh, playing through my MT-32. I hacked that together in just one night, so it's not exactly perfect. MIDI players work, but games like, um, for example, uh, Gateway, that is a very uh, heavy use of intelligent mode on the MPU-401. That has a lot of issues. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's uh, watch some stuff. I'll give a few uh, voiceovers this time um, and also cut out some of the longer parts of demos. So this might be a little bit shorter video than the last time. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, have a great one. Let's start out with X14 by Orange, probably my all-time favorite DOS demo. Previously froze right back there right before you saw any graphics. And now it's able to play all the way through. Let's watch a little bit of it and then fade over to the end, which is probably my favorite part with the twisting thing. Let's see how television and other orange demo does. In my last video, this froze at the end of the credit sequence. I've also seen it freeze at the title screen, but as you can see, it makes it past both of them now. Nera is dope by complex. This is an example where playback of the audio would freeze, but the demo would continue playing. The demo doesn't seem like it's very reliant on IRQs for timing, but it is very reliant on them for playback of the module.
weren't able to get to this point in the last video. Here's another funny issue. The audio sync is off, but it's actually off on this machine on a real Gus, so this isn't the Pico Gus's fault. The audio sync is still off by the end of the demo. The song ends in not quite the right spot. There are a few bugs still. Here's another run of X14. Dune's credit at the very end here. It just fades into nothingness, and the demo doesn't complete after that. Induced by Psychic Link, featuring Statix, one of my favorite demo coders of the 90s. During the really cool fractal section, uh, audio playback just stops, but it keeps on playing. Okay, uh, let's have some MIDI. Uh, let's do my one of my favorite MIDI soundtracks of all time, Secret of Monkey Island for MT32. <laughs> Here's the Sierra game cell feed, which uses a lot of sysx messages, and as you can see, there's a checksum error, but the playback sounds okay, but there's obviously something wrong here. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, let's do some ad-lib stuff. Here are the Starport BBS intros.
to end the video, a couple games. 688, Attack Sub, and Prince of Persia. And that's it. Thanks for watching. You can check me out at these URLs.